In the process of generating sales, you need to get into the right neighborhoods that have been hit by a storm. And that is where our maps, also referred to as weather events, comes into play. They allow sales, canvassing, and marketing teams to head into the right areas with potential storm damage. And this data will help keep you and your teams from wasting precious time in the wrong neighborhoods, which end up losing opportunities to competition. Now to utilize our weather events inside of the app, you do have to be either the account owner or a map viewer role. So what is a weather event? So if you go inside of the Hailtrace app and you pull a weather event, what is it? Well, it includes all of the maps that we have available, hail, wind, and tornado for a specific day that you're looking at inside of your subscription area, whether that is a city plan, state plan, or national plan. And there's a couple ways that you can actually pull these weather events inside of the Hail Trace app, and I'll walk you through. The first way is finding recent storms that you can quickly pull into the app and start working. All you have to do is go to the Maps tab, and you can select all of those recent weather events that have just happened. For example, you can see some storms that have happened today on March 24th, and yesterday we had a really big storm that hit Texas, and you could start pulling those storms right into the app. If you're not seeing the most recent events here, go to your map filters and make sure to take off your radius. The next way to look at a storm with a weather event is searching by a storm date. So if you know that you're looking for a storm that happened on September 24th, 2023, you can actually use the calendar button over on the right hand side. And here you can select the year, the month and the day or the weather event that you're looking for. And now I can take a look at all of the storms that happened on September 24th within my subscription. And you can see a lot of these storms happened actually in the Dallas, Fort Worth area and across Texas. If you're trying to search for storms within a specific area or specific city, to do this, you're going to go to the maps tab and then go to the filters. Here, you can start applying various weather filters to kind of fine tune your search. For example, you can search for different storms within a hail size range, or you can search for storms with a certain wind speed or tornado EF, or even a star level. At Hail Trace, we rank all of our storms from a one star event being a smaller storm that hits very little properties to a five-star weather event being a major storm hitting a large number of properties. The filter that you do want to utilize here is the radius filter. This will allow you to search for storms within a certain mile radius. And you can adjust that radius from being a really small search area all the way up to a large search area. And once you've selected your radius, you can press confirm and now you will start seeing storms that are within this search area with those different filters you put in place. Now, if I want to start searching for storms in a different area than the one I'm currently at, all I have to do is move the screen and the search radius will recenter. And once I've found the area that I want to find storms in, for example, if I want to find storms in Norman, Oklahoma, then I can find the different storms I want to download. For example, there is this April 19th storm of 2023. I can download this storm and take a look at all the maps we have available, including the two and a half inch hail, the high wind, and even some tornadoes. All I have to do is click on the download button next to the date, and I will see those storms for that weather event. And once you're done looking for storms, you can go back to the weather filter button and turn off that radius. So those are the three ways that you could start taking a look at these weather events inside of our app. But how do you actually use them to find neighborhoods to target with your teams? So what we're trying to do here at Hailtrace is give you as much information as possible to figure out what neighborhoods you're gonna target with your teams. So the first piece of data that you have is our meteorologist maps. So that includes our wind maps, hail maps, and tornado maps. Our meteorologist team is really good at taking all of the radar data and on the ground data to be able to 
accurately show where that storm went. On top of that, we have our in-house algorithm hail maps that is quality controlled by our meteorologist team and shows precisely where that storm went. And then the third piece is we have pulled in all of the NOAA reports that are available. So if you actually hover over these uh, darker icons, you'll notice the reports that have come in for where that hailstorm, windstorm, or tornado storm went. And then the last piece is social media images. So we actually have these social media images that show what the storm looks like from people on the ground. So if you hover over those icons, you'll be able to kind of get a feel for the type of hail or wind storm that happened in those areas. And together, all these pieces of information help show you what neighborhoods you're gonna to want to go in with your teams and start generating leads. And there are some other settings that you'll want to be aware of. The first is the map layers that allow you to turn on and off different maps. For example, if you don't wanna take a look at the algorithm hail size, you can pull that map off. Another filter to take a look at is this icon that allows you to look at your saved weather events and then to be able to take a look at your current downloaded maps. So you can come in here and pull off some of those past storms that you've downloaded. And then the last settings is this little gear button. So you can come in here and customize how the map looks from changing the map to a hybrid version or taking off some of the NOAA reports or taking off the social media images. So with these map settings, you can customize what you're looking at. So that is our weather events. It's gonna help you and your team be able to target the right neighborhoods that have been hit by a storm and get them as leads.